Hello, everybody. I have a book today called Odd Bird. Um, I just am in love with this main character of the book, um, and I hope you'll see why and see what you think of the main character. He's this little guy down here. Um, maybe you can infer from the title because it's called Odd Bird that it is about an odd bird who's different and what we can learn about um, how wonderful sometimes it is to be different and what we can learn by celebrating other people's um, differences and what those differences can bring to our lives. So I am just, I'm in love with all the color and the, um, the use of color and things like this here and then our little friend here who has something to offer even though he's not the most colorful bird. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you think about what you can learn from this in the way that we um, treat each other and all the people around us and how we celebrate our differences. So this is Odd Bird by Derek I'm gonna say Desierto, but I could be wrong. So I am apologize if I have that author's name wrong. It was a hot day in the jungle. The birds were at the pool, but none of them were swimming. Can you imagine? Look at that beautiful pool, it's hot. Why aren't they swimming? All they cared about was showing off their fabulous feathers. Who they do have some beautiful feathers. Look at this one right here. Then another bird appeared. His feathers weren't colorful. He was an odd bird. And he was hot after a long flight to the pool. He was excited to finally cool off. As he dipped his toes into the water, he felt everyone's eyes on him. Look, they're all watching him. What are you doing, odd bird, right? Why are you getting in the water? Just show off your colorful feathers, except you don't have any. This little bird up here almost looks angry at him. He has no color, said one bird. Are those even feathers, said another. All the birds agreed that Oddbird didn't belong there. Hmm. Have you ever felt like this where you think people are talking about you or like they're saying really unkind things about him just because he's different, making fun of his feathers? And look at what happens to Oddbird. I'm sure that you know right and maybe hopefully you haven't felt that but maybe we all have that time where you feel like you don't belong and how much that hurts out 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 oh odd bird flew away as fast as he could he had always looked like this his feathers were his feathers why was it a problem for the other birds as he hopped around the jungle he noticed how much color was all around him and he had an idea what do you think that he's noticed? Take a minute, talk to your neighbor. What do you think Oddbird's idea is? Back at the pool, the birds were trying to relax when suddenly there was a tweet in the crowd that someone new had arrived. It was a fabulous bird with colors galore. Oh my goodness, can you believe those feathers? Look at that blue. I need that fancy swimsuit. Oddbird was so relieved, his new feathers meant that the other birds didn't recognize him and they loved the way he looked. Oddbird had never felt so confident. <clears throat> what do you think about that? Is that the way that he should be feeling proud of himself? He strutted to the diving board the other birds were shocked and confused. Wait, what is he doing? Is he going to get wet? What about his gorgeous feathers? What's he gonna do? From the top of the diving board, Oddbird counted. One, two, three, go! Oh, look at him dive and what happens as he goes the water felt fine so cool so refreshing 
Oddbird was so happy to swim that he didn't notice his feathers were falling off. Is that? Oddbird was having too much fun to be worried. Actually, that looks refreshing and cool. One by one, the other birds jumped into the pool. Their feathers got frizzy, their colors became dull, but no one cared anymore about those things. What was more important was how they felt. This is so much better. Yeah, thank you, Oddbird. We should have done this earlier. And they felt happy. What do you think? Do you think it's a good lesson? Is it one we can take away and say like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yep, maybe I'm gonna stop judging people and think about what I can learn from them. Maybe I'm gonna stop worrying so much about what I look like. I know that's hard sometimes. I just love little Oddbird and I love Oddbird's bravery um, to take a risk and show off what really mattered to him. Have a great day, my friends.